truly is the planetary emergency, and, and we have to respond quickly. Albert Gore talking about global warming. This after winning the Nobel Peace Prize, or at least co-winning it. It's pal time now for Fox News contributors Bill Crystal of the Weekly Standard, Mara Lassen of National Public Radio, the syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer, and Juan Williams, also from National Public Radio. Nobel laureate Al Gore. Bill, how do you like the sound of that? It's deeply moving. <laughs> you know, I, I just, Friday, my, I, just, I felt a warm glow thinking that this man got the Nobel Peace Prize for bloviating about global warming. I mean, it was a piece, it's a prize given by bloviators to a bloviator for nothing. What did he, he was vice president of the United States for eight years. I missed the Clinton administration's bold initiatives on global warming and carbon caps. Uh, did they enforce the Kyoto Treaty? I don't think so, you know? So he gets the Nobel Peace Prize for talking when brave people in Burma and in Iraq and journalists in Russia are being killed by dictators and the Nobel Committee, of course, has no interest in any of them. Right. Well, first of all, they've given the Peace Prize to Aung San Suu Kyi in the past. I mean, you could make the argument that giving it to the monks now might, might have been a more powerful statement. But look, Al Gore has spent a lot of time since he left the White House talking about this, yes, and talking sometimes helps. It certainly is an important issue that the world has, has kind of become galvanized by. I don't know what actually is going to be done. Um, but the Nobel Committee likes to highlight issues it cares about, and that's what it did this time. You know, it wants to shine the spotlight on global warming, and that's what it did. Look, let's remember what the prize is about. Al Gore now joins the ranks of Yasser Arafat, the father of modern terrorism, Lee Duck To, who signed a treaty on behalf of a government that two years later invaded and extinguished the, the country it signed uh, that treaty with, uh, and the most disgraceful ex-president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, who, forget about Iraq, I'll remind you, in the Gulf War, actively lobbied other countries to oppose his country in helping it in going to war. So, look, this is a treaty that is has nothing to do with peace. It's about politics. It's the... Uh, the award. The, the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the award. The Nobel Peace Prize is about the po politics. It's, the, it's the, 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 the Kentucky Derby of the, of the world left, and it gives it to people whose politics are either anti-American or anti-Bush, and that's why he won it. Well, I tell you, uh, Charles, you and Bill Crystal love those sour grapes. I must make some, some kind of wine that you two are drinking this morning because, look, the Nobel Peace Prize, I mean, Mother Teresa, whatever you want to say about it, there's an effort made to acknowledge people who are making a difference in this world. And Al Gore, uh, with the film An Inconvenient Truth, and by speaking out, bloviating, as you just said, Bill, um, has helped to raise the profile of an issue. And when you look at the current administration and the failure of this administration to do anything, even acknowledge for a long time that there was global warming, there's a strong contrast. And gosh, in terms of his personal story, what a narrative. The guy goes from being, you know, looks like he's the presumptive president of the United States to losing an outcast. And now he's back on top of the world. I mean, 